Sustainable Eco Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 421. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our April 18th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today what I want to talk about is sustainable eco cooperatives and not just little eco cooperatives. I'm talking about global eco cooperatives. Let's talk about global sustainable eco cooperatives and how we could create those. And everything you see happening in the background of this video is our answer to that question. How do you create a global eco cooperative, a global eco collaborative of sustainable communities working together to simultaneously address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come through cooperation and collaboration and what we call highest good creation? What does that look like? Well, we think that it looks like creating a sustainable civilization, working together to create a sustainable civilization and creating the foundations of that sustainable civilization as open source and free shared, do-it-yourself, replicable models and inviting global cooperatives, global collaboratives, global communities to come together and form using the models that we're creating, to evolve and improve the models that we're creating, but most importantly, to work together to evolve it all and to create more and more versions, more and more iterations, more and more adaptations of what it is that we're starting with as a foundation so that there are tens of thousands of different flavors of how to live for the good, for the common good of humanity and how to create sustainable eco cooperatives around the world working together to be a part of it. You know, there's a lot of different flavors and colors and, and visions for how to create a better world. But if we all focus on that and we can create one solid foundation to build off of, and that's what one community is doing, and there are so many others. But what we don't see in the world happening right now is enough open source plans with clear step-by-step -step instructions for replication. So that is what our all-volunteer team has been working on. And a living prototype to motivate people, to show people what is possible when you bring people together with common vision, common values, for the highest good of all life on this planet, working together to create a better world for everybody. What does that look like? What is that experience? What, what's possible? When you bring together 50 people and then grow that to 100 people, then grow that to 400 people, then grow that to 2,000 people working together in cooperation, collaboration for the highest good of each other, for the highest good of the individuals, of course, and for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet to develop an open source and free share, sustainable, replicable solutions for food, energy, housing, education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and stewardship, true earth stewardship, recycling, reuse, and reduction patterns that are replicable in any environment, working together as a, as a think tank, first as an individual think tank, think tank, which is one community, but inviting, you know, eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit annually and experience what it is that we're doing, and the whole environment that people walk into will be open source and free shared. And growing that environment with the most passionate individuals that we can find in minds and families and groups that we can bring together to keep evolving this and sharing it more and more and more. And the whole model is designed so that the more we share, the more we give, the more we open source and free share, and the more we invite people to come and participate and experience what it is that we're creating, the more successful we'll be. And most importantly, the more fun that we're having doing it, the more enjoyable the environment is, the faster it will spread and the more successful we'll be. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this is attractive enough, the idea will spread virally because it'll be a better way of living than most people are living right now. And this is our idea for building a foundation of sustainable eco-cooperatives that will rapidly spread across the globe and create models that are adapted to all living environments. You know, to demonstrate permaculture in, in every possible environment and work together as a cooperative collaborative to, to, to address 
you know, the, lo the loss of biodiversity to address, you know, habitat destruction, to address homelessness, to address food insecurity, to address social injustice and inequality, you know, to address the lack of energy infrastructure that is still impacting, I think it's like a third of humanity still. In this day and age, that is crazy. You know, it's not that the, the money doesn't exist. It's not that the resources don't exist. It's that there's just not enough motivation for people to address these problems in the places where they need to be addressed most. One community is a solution to that. It will be easier to build one community in places other than the United States where the code restrictions are less, where materials can be more affordable, where, where motivated people to get involved to help construct all this that would want to help build their own home and live in an environment like, like this are more plentiful. You know, so we're building these to be code compliant in the United States, knowing that if you if we're code compliant here and you replicate that somewhere else, you've got a, 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 a far superior building than what is typically even necessary there. You know, and so all this stuff puts together, create a better way of living, make it affordable enough and easy enough to replicate so that people so it will spread on its own and invite people to participate, show people how to replicate it. And design it all so it's modular. So for people that look at the big complete model and go, whoa, that's too much. You know, I don't care if you tell me how much it's going to cost. I don't care if you tell me exactly how many hours. That is just too much. I don't want to organize it. Or, you know, I want my privacy. I want to do my own thing. I'm not interested in living community. The benefits of being able to share all these things and having more access to the things that I want, it's not motivation enough for me. Being able to walk everywhere that I to, to all the recreational activities that I want, to be able to live in an environment that's like a club med or a, a cruise ship where everything that I might want to do is within walking distance, to have my meals professionally prepared for me on a, on a daily basis because, because the people that love to cook and love to prepare those meals, that's their contribution to community. And in return, their laundry is done for them. And you know the schooling for their kids is handled for them. And keep, keeping the grounds clean is handled for them. The recreation is handled. All that, none of that stuff is motivation enough for me to want to do that. I just want to do my own thing. That's great. People using our plans, which are designed for the highest good and sustainably, if they implement them for individual reasons, that's great. It's still a step in the right direction. And so this is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating something for everyone. And ultimately, though, one community is the beginning of a movement of teacher demonstration hubs working together globally to create more and more teacher demonstration hubs, more variety, more options and adaptations of what we're doing. So there's something there for everyone that wants a teacher demonstration hub as well, to bring their friends, their family, and people who share their values together, to work together for the good of everyone close to them and for the good of the planet simultaneously. This is what One Community is doing. So yeah, if that's pretty cool, if you like that idea, Stick around for a couple more minutes, see the bullet points uh, for each of the major components of our project, visit our website. There's links to all the different content, everything that I'm talking about and so much more. Visit our written blog if you'd like to see the weekly progress update for this week and everything that our all-volunteer team has done for this week and for the last six, seven, eight years prior to this, we have weekly progress updates that we have been publishing as we get closer and closer to be able to launch. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the end. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on Keep it on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, 
and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.